say I get to 65 and I've got a decent sum or I've got anything in my KiwiSaver, sure. can I, and, I, and I've like set myself up well for retirement as well so I don't like need that money right. Gotcha. Can, can I tap a debit card to that and then just go around like, <laughs> and then just leave it in there? I Is that wish. Doable? Okay. We might be looking at that. Ah, okay. <laughs> no, I think um, yeah, it sounds like a I very good idea. Who knows? Yeah. Who knows? Um, not exactly. So KiwiSaver, um, when you hit 65, Basically, that there's no more lock-ins, so absolutely you can deposit money, you can withdraw money as freely as you'd like. That there's a bit of a lag. So basically, if as an example, if you want to take out, if you had a hundred grand and then you want to take out fifty as just one big lump sum, there are a few forms to fill in, and then you kind of choose your nominated bank account once it's there. Absolutely, I use see. your credit, yeah, your, your yeah. debit card, whatever you may be, um, or some people. Oh, sorry, go ahead. I was just yeah. saying, I wonder if that'll come like in time, you know. If it's, Who knows? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Definitely. You could almost just leave the fund there. <laughs> and you go, because I just thought it'd be it'd be awesome to, you know, you're 65, you go down to get the paper mm, and the coffee, mm. you pay for that. And then the next week you're checking like, oh, last week didn't cost me anything. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I think the I think the, the kind of small drawback, and this is where I don't want to put your, your viewers to sleep, but the um the, there is the anti money laundering rules and everything. So and, and they're they're put in place. They're very, very important. So yeah. they want to make sure any deposits, any withdrawals, you do have to go through the right means and make sure it's you're definitely using it for what you say you're going to use it for. So so you do have to go through those few checks, but still it's, it's fairly easy, uh, yeah. fairly straightforward on there. And we have some clients who um, after the age of 65, you don't have to just take it all out, all as one sum. You can actually take it down on a kind of weekly basis or fortnightly, monthly. So some people, when they stop working, they take out a weekly lump sum to kind of simulate that they're still on a salary, if that kind of makes oh, sense. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, it could be 500 or or $1,000. And that's kind of is the idea behind that is you keep the big bulk of your money still invested. The idea it can still continue to grow. And then you just draw down on a small amount and you're still getting that money working hard for you, basically doing it that way. Back to the kids. When you go.